Ever wonder how web designers place items exactly where they want on a web page? Well, it's not magic, it's CSS positioning. Today, we're going to break down the mystery of CSS position properties, and don't worry, we'll keep it simple. Let's start with the basics. Every element on a web page has a default position. This default is called static. When an item is static, it just means it's in its normal spot, flowing with the content. Most of the time, you won't really need to set this property, since it's the basic setting all elements start with. But what if we want to move this card to the right? Next up is relative positioning. When you set an element to relative, it's kind of like giving it a gentle nudge from where it would normally be. You can push it left, right, up or down, relative to its default static position. Let's input in this field value of 50 pixels. You will notice that my card is being pushed exactly 50 pixels to the right from its original static position. And if I go and play with this top position, you will notice that my card is being pushed above its original static position. This way you can position your tag wherever you want. Absolute positioning is where things get a bit more interesting. An absolute element breaks free from the normal flow. It's like pinning a note on a board. You can place it exactly where you want. Let's say we want this coming soon label to be placed exactly at the top right corner of our card. We can easily do this by setting its position to absolute. But before we set this label to be absolute, first we need to set this whole card to be relative. That's because absolute elements are sticked to the first parent, which is relative. We can now go to our label and set it to be absolute. As soon as we do this, our label will break free from the flow. To move our label inside of our card, we can use this positioning grid and select top right option. That will position my label exactly at the top right corner of my card. Let's give this label a bit of a breathing room. Let's push it 10 pixels from the top and 10 pixels from the right. And now my label is positioned right where I want it. This section here can be a perfect example for absolute positioning. You can put your tags outside of the normal flow and position them precisely where you want them. Ever seen those cool navigation bars that stays at the top even when you scroll? That's the fixed position. No matter how much you scroll, a fixed element stays put. Let's ensure this navbar sticks with us as we scroll. To do this, set its position to fixed and the top value to zero. This keeps it anchored at the screen's top. Now my navbar will follow me as I scroll, but you will notice that this content is overflowing my navbar. To fix this, you just need to set Z index. I like to set big values for my navbars, just to be sure that nothing will ever go over my navbar again. Let's push our navbar 25 pixels from the top. If you adjust the top value, for instance, it'll stay fixed 25 pixels down from the screen's top. Last but not least, there's sticky positioning. Think of it as mixed between relative and fixed. An element will scroll normally until it hits a set point. Then it sticks and start following your scrolling. Let's make this title follow us on the top while we scroll through this section. Set the position of the title to sticky and next we'll define the point where it starts to stick. This means that my title will be sticked exactly at the top. When I start scrolling now and when my title hits the top of the window, it will start following. But if I don't want it to start from the top, I can input some values here like 50 pixels. When I test it out now, you will notice that my title is sticked 50 pixels from the top of the window. It's important to understand that sticky tags follow their parent's sizing. How much parent tag goes in height, that's how much space will sticky tag have to go up and down. Also, if any parent of your sticky element has property of overflow hidden, your position sticky element won't work. And that's it, from static to stick. Now you know the basics of positioning elements on a web page. So the next time you're browsing and see a cool layout, you can bet CSS positioning is working its magic.